Hey, it's me, the Rhino, for Survival Skills 101, out here in the middle of the Idaho wilderness to show you a really cool camp cot. Okay, maybe I'm in my backyard. My wife wouldn't let me go camping this weekend, but still, I want to show you this really cool camp cot. Okay, I am going to talk to you today about the Camprite Oversized Tent Cot. Uh, I got this uh, for about, I don't know, 180 bucks. Uh, really awesome deal. I thought I would come home. I just set it up and it started raining. So isn't that great? So I set it up to make sure I knew how to do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unset it up um, because I don't want to unset it up and then have to set it up again. Anyway, check this out. It comes with a rain fly too. The rain fly goes on the outside. Obviously it's been raining inside. No problem, nothing. There's no water in there. It's fantastic. Okay, this rain fly is connected by these little pieces of fabric. And basically what you can do is take the rain fly off like this. So if you follow me around, take the rain fly. But the rain fly is connected under here by a little clip. So now it just comes right off take the rain fly right off over the top. As you can see, that's the inside. Now, down in here, it has cool little pockets up here, but also all the material you can store up in the top right here. You can keep it out of your way if you want to. This right here can zip up right around all the way. And then this can go on top and zip up too if you need it. Now this is for maybe it's not raining. You want to keep a little warmer. So the rain fly will just keep on taking it off here. And this just comes right off. Now in your quest to continue taking this down, it comes with these rods right here. The rods are connected with little hooks. All you, this is super easy to take those off. You just start taking the hooks off all the way across. Those will come out of there. And you can just pull and take them out of here. And they just go right together. So that's easy. This other one right here. Taking these hooks off. Ta-da. All right, so now what we gotta do is we gotta put this bad boy together. Okay, now we're almost to the end of this. What you're gonna do is underneath here is you have a hook that's connected to one of the legs and it's connected to the top. That way you don't flip over and, and become uh, top heavy on one side. Plus there's an extra hook that co connects to the rain fly. So basically what's gonna happen is we need to loosen this up right here just a little bit. That comes undone. Then this comes off just like this. You're going to need these here in a minute, so it doesn't really matter. Then this just flips over on itself like this. Then we're going to do it to the other side as well. So you come up, undo the hook, boom, it just collapses and closes right on in. And these are just going to push down right here. So. The last part of this, are these are going to connect right in together. And what you can do is you can secure all this with that hook and strap at the end. So this is how fast you can take this bad boy down when you need to. Okay, and it also comes with a bag to carry it in as well. So you put it in right here and it'll just zip up right on the side. I think one of the downsides to this bag, or this cot and bag, is that it's pretty wide. It's kind of bulky and it weighs, I don't know, 25-30 pounds. So it's kind of heavy, takes up a lot of room in your vehicle, and uh, you're obviously not going to be taking this if you're going hiking or uh, camping out in the wilderness. This is definitely for car camping, however, if you can fit this bad boy in your car, I'm telling you, it is well worth it. So we're gonna give this a try overnight and see how it goes. Okay, I am about to go to bed. I will tell you how it went in the morning.
morning. I'm excited. It's pretty comfortable in here. Okay, there's not going to be much to this, but I just wanted to show you the inside. Um, there's a nice hole for ventilation. It's covered so rain won't come in. This flap right up here will come down and you can zip all this up together. It's got mesh so it won't let the bugs and flies in. Uh, one thing I noticed, there's a lot of zippers around this, uh, this cot. So getting in and out can be kind of difficult. Here's the doorway. Um, there's one mesh one, one regular one, and then one for the fly as well. So that's what I'm talking about, about, you know, all the zippers and doors that you have to have. Uh, I'm going to pan over this way and just see up here what it looks like on the top. It's pretty cool because it's got little ties there that you can put things. I just put my uh, my light there. You can get in on either side too. That's the cool thing. So it's got a door on this side and it's got a door on this side. I'm going to pan up right here so you can see what's going on. There is a lot of room in this tent, man. I am 6'3", 230 pounds. I fit just great. Got plenty of room on either side. Can put stuff, put your uh, boots and shoes, extra clothes. Man, lots of room in here. We're going to try this out tonight and see how it goes. Okay, it's raining today. That's awesome. Anyway, I slept great in here. This thing was awesome. Uh, I was warm the whole night. In fact, I was a little hot, so I had to open up the, the air vents a little bit. Man, kept it just fantastic, and it was pretty cold out today. So, man, this is a really awesome camp cot. Because it started to rain really hard outside, uh, I'm just going to use the directions to show you that this chair also comes in a lounge configuration and it also comes in a regular chair. So you can use it as a chair or a lounge or you can use it as a tent cot. So it gives you three in one configuration. It's awesome. Alright, so what does this have to do with survival with one of these? Well, you know what? If you had to bug out, you threw a couple of these in your car. If you had to camp out somewhere, man, it makes it a lot better camping out in one of these than it is a tent, especially for those people that might not be accustomed to camping or having to deal with a bug out situation. This could certainly help make it a lot easier. Uh, it might even be great for kids as well. So just having a couple of these on hand, even if you don't camp very much, man, can help you if you had to bug out and go somewhere. Okay, the Camp Ride Oversized Sleeping Cot. Holy moly, what a great product. I am so glad to have one. I'm going to go buy another one. Anyway, for Survival Skills 101, I'm the Rhino. I'm going to cook some marshmallows. My wife won't let me have a fire, so I've got to do it this way. Anyway, are you prepared to look forward?